enough. You're not enough, Kayla. You're not enough. From the moment you were born, you weren't enough. Not black enough, not white enough, but smile, Kayla, like everything is all right enough. They're all watching, Kayla, so don't you dare frown. Put on this plastic crown and do not look down because we don't expose clowns in this family. You're not enough, Kayla. You'll never be enough. He may do drugs, hit us, and cuss, but we still do not have enough love to share with you. And why would you think that we do? Because he came out perfectly light and hazel-eyed and all. While you, however, came out completely flawed, melanin-packed flesh with curly hair, you'll always fall into last place. And even though that's not fair, who cares? You're not enough, Kayla. You are not enough. We put you in that school so you learn how to play the clarinet, the violin, piano, and guitar strings. We put you in that place so you'd go far. So when you grow up, you'd live like a star, have a nice house, fancy stuff, and a lavish car. But I guess not, Kayla, because guess what, Kayla? You aren't enough, Kayla. Kayla, what do you want to be when you grow up? A doctor, a lawyer, or something great? Like everyone else in our family with all the right traits? You want to be a singer, a writer, a poet, an artist? Kayla, you aren't even good enough and you already know it. So why try? You're not enough, Kayla. What have you done, Kayla? You had a child so young, Kayla, when we had plans for your future and what you'd become, Kayla, but listening to your heart, it ruined our fun. And now stuck inside your head, you just want to run. You are so dumb. You are so dumb, Kayla. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not enough. But I tried doing my skin till it was white. I tried perming my hair till I fit right in. I also tried not eating till I was skinny and fair, just like all the others that you go and you try to compare me to be. But I can't change who I am, I tried. So I'm the one who's sorry, it's fine. And I didn't ask for this life or to be born. So I'm sorry I like working out more than gossiping about the poor people you know who probably talk crap about you too, like what I've become and maybe that's why I'm such a disappointment to you. I'm sorry I love video games and reading books that take me away from reality. Please don't give me that look. Not that I can do anything about it, but these feelings inside are what I hide so I can finally try to be fine and feel alright. I'm sorry I like to drink. It gives me a chance to laugh and the feeling I am free and as sad as it is to say, alcohol has made me happier than I've been ever on any day. I'm inside out. I'm inside outside myself and nobody hates me more than me screaming at people to be strong when guess what? I'm the one who's weak. I mean, I may never cry, but my mind is full of things and every night and every time I look into the reflection of myself, I just want to smash it to bits. Acting like I find myself in any way attractive is so passive. And it all started when I was born. Not good enough for the family that technically bought my mother at a store. I mean, how dare she date any color like anything that isn't white, right? Though they may have now changed perspective, the damage is done. It's still sealed tight inside my soul and I'm sorry and I can't apologize enough. And yes, I know that you had no clue, family, that every mean thing you joke down on me I see is true, family. And I'm sorry that I guess I live a lie. I'm the glue to the family, the bonding, the tie that holds us all together and keeps us sane. And yes, okay, maybe if you haven't noticed, family, that's a little too much pressure for just one person to hold and claim, just know that every time you need to cry, I have a shoulder waiting for you. If you want to try so that you can say you don't want to die, and just know that if you need a home or an organ donated or even a bone, please take it from me so you can finally see what it takes just to be enough what it takes to be me. And no, no, I will never open up. So I'll put this crap all back where it belongs inside my head. Because today I don't have enough energy to finish what you just heard or read. So maybe I'll finish it all someday before I'm dead.